Hey there guys, welcome back to Draco Does It. We're going to be working on a Mazda 3 Sport 2005. It's with the 2.3 liter motor. Uh, we're just going to be doing an oil change today. Um, some of the newer cars are a little different than the others. They have uh, not the typical old school oil filters. They have oil filter cartridges or like a little paper filter uh, type uh, insert. So we're going to be going over that and what tools to use. And let me show you. Let's get going. Here's what we're working with today. Um, if you actually do your research, um, this is my wife's car. Um, the Kirkland Signature Full Synthetic 020 is what we're going to be using. Um, it actually comes from a, a company that uh, manufactures a lot of oil for a lot of manufacturers. And that would be the, the Highline, Highline Warren uh, LLC and a few other distributors. So I've done a bunch of research on it and um, I could probably post some links in the description, but it's actually a really decent oil. I was almost considering it using it on a few of my other performance vehicles, but um, decided not to just for full, full protection. They're, they're actually a turbo boosted, um, but for a car like this, uh, it's absolutely fine. Tough guard filter, I'm not a big uh, fan of Fram, especially the orange cheap ones, but um, these tough guard filters are a little bit better, but um, we're just gonna put this in there for now. My wife kind of picked it up, but I'd rather pick up a full synthetic uh, capable filter. So I might leave this in for just a little bit for now, get the oil change done and then swap it out later. All right, here she is. So I'm just gonna, it's a first gen of the 2.3. There's actually, uh, on the 04 and 05, they have a certain motor and transmission. And then on the uh, 07 uh, beyond, they have a, a kind of optimized 2.3 motor. So it's kind of the first gen one, uh, but she's really solid, really good. You get a lot of miles out of these cars. Let's go ahead and pull the dipstick, open this up, start letting her vent. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, get her up on the jacks and stand. All right, now we're underneath the car. Um, so there's a plastic cover that goes all along here and it's just some 10 or 12 millimeter bolts. You'll have to take that plastic cover off. It's a plastic cover like this. And I, I have it off, I've had it off for a while, so I didn't want, I, I'm not gonna be able to run you through that. It's pretty straightforward. But your oil filter's here. It's right in the center of the vehicle, literally, if you can see. And it's, it's a little bit more unique because you have to use a bit that's the right size and I'll list that in the description as well. Uh, but you have to put, then that's to drain it only. There's two ways to do this. You can use that, or if you're careful, you can grab it and turn it counterclockwise, lefty loosey, to pull this whole plastic unit off. Now the problem with these cars, I must say, is this plastic, and if you hit it, and there's a reason the plastic cover is here, if you hit it, all your oil will come out and you'll seize your motor and your motor will go dry. And um, these plastic caps are cheap, and if yours looks kind of rough, like this one's starting to get a little rough, I might replace it next oil change. Um, I highly recommend it because um, these are cheap, fragile, and you can blow your motor, obviously, if you dump all your oil out. So you can drain here, which is fine, but it's almost a waste of time because if you're replacing the filter, you still have to take this off. So I'm gonna be using this, and I'm gonna take it off, carefully. All right, I'm just gonna try to so we can get this on here nice and tight. And we're gonna twist carefully without damaging and eating up the plastic with our wrench. And we're gonna get it loose enough with our oil catch below. So where we can take it off with our, our hand. Okay, we've got it loose enough now. We're gonna start, and the reason you probably wanna drain it first is so it doesn't make a mess, because the oil's gonna start coming out of here. But that's okay. Let's just get her loose. Let her start draining. I got gloves on anyway. Don't really care. You don't want to get all this oil on your uh, your skin. And there we go. She's all going to start coming out. She definitely was dew and dark. We did a lot of miles on her. We went to Oregon, all kinds of stuff. So, um, But that's what it looks like coming here. So we're going to let that drain for a minute. All right. I'm going to try to show you this here. So... Um, on this filter, what you're gonna do is take out this cartridge. That's the one you bought from the store you're gonna replace. And what you don't wanna forget to do, the new one should come with it, there's a, there's an O-ring here. You wanna get your little hook you have laying around, if you got some, get them at Harbor Freight, two bucks a pack. Sometimes I give them out for free with coupon. These little picks are lifesavers. You wouldn't think you need picks in the garage, you do. If you work on motors and other stuff and equipment, even oil changes, you need picks. So you're gonna replace this gasket, open up the new box, 
The filter we're going to be using is 9641. TG just means tough guard, but most of the filter numbers are 9641 for this guy. I'm having problems with the gloves. I'm just going to rip the bag. Let's see, it comes with new O-ring. It comes with new O-ring even for the bolt on the bottom. So, for this guy, right here. And so you get both. So you want to replace both if you, if you can. If you don't have the tool for the bottom one, the main one you want to replace is the big one. So we're going to take the new filter. No need to pre-lube it or anything like that. Try to get all the old oil out you can. We'll wipe her down real good. Let's get this open. It's, I'm just ripping it open and being messy. I can't record and do all this super clean at the same time. So wipe some of this old oil off. I'm going to put this ring on right over. And we're going to just stick it in its home, which is right here. Make sure it's in there, the home all the way around. Wipe her off, clean her up, and then we're ready to put it back in. All right. Now that we've got it all reassembled, let's get back under here. She's been draining while you've been prepping the new filter, which is great. I'm going to give her a quick little wipe. Get all the old gunk out. Alright, good enough. Okay, I'm gonna move this little plastic flap out of my way. I'm gonna start hand tightening this one in. Make sure she goes in even, make sure your gasket's still seated all the way around. Get her hand tight all the way you can. Then you're gonna to wanna to use your oil wrench carefully because this is plastic remember to tighten her down it doesn't have to be super tight okay it does have an o-ring it does seal itself uh, just make sure it's nice and snug uh, rec you know check the recommended specifications for torque on it um, I've been doing this so long I do it by hand I mean I haven't had any issues obviously but everything to manufacture spec is recommended got my wrench on and make sure that's why you want to wipe the oil off because you don't want it to slip and you want to tighten her down Maybe one more quick little tip. She actually does bottom out. So you'll fill it bottom out and that's kind of where you want to be. Just nice and snug against where she bottoms out against the oil filter housing. So it's nice and tight, good to go. Now we're gonna drain the oil out of the pan. All right. So now we're gonna, this is oil filter, oil pan, and the bolt is here. I'll try to get a angle real quick. That 19 millimeter bolt right there. So just for if you, I don't want to assume anything. If you guys haven't worked on cars before, maybe this is your first Mazda. This is the transmission pan. It's black. Don't touch it. Don't touch the drain bolt. It's not this drain bolt. It's this one. Not this one. There's red fluid that'll come out. It's this one. So this is your engine oil pan, silver, and the 19 millimeter is right there. Let me get my wrench and. You should be doing looking like this. Okay, I cracked it free with the wrench. I'm gonna undo it by hand if I can. She needs a little more. You have your oil catch ready. I'm gonna put this back on, give her another twist. I like to put them that way because it kind of shoots out, so I put it kind of vertical. We're gonna go ahead and loosen it up. I'll try to stop shaking the camera there. And here comes the hold on to the bolt and let that fluid go. Let her drain out. Have a towel nearby like this. Put down the bolt. <clears throat> Wipe your hand. Let her do her thing. Make sure the oil cap on the top is open so it can breathe. Let the fluid go out. Maybe the dipstick too. Let her do her thing for like 10 minutes. So while the oil is draining, I wanted to show you this. Um, I like this size oil filter, the kind of the big mouth that fits right in the oil hole really well for the oil, uh, you know, we put the oil in the engine and make sure it's clean, clean it out real good, make sure there's no old oil or residue from previous engines or ATF. I try not to use different fluids with my funnels, so just another quick little tip. Since the funnel's ready and uh, we're going to be putting oil in soon, I'm just going to go ahead and put her there. See how this size holds nice and taut, um, especially if you're doing an oil change by yourself, obviously. And you can pour it in without min you know, minimize spilling. I also like to put a towel around here sometimes. Um, so she's about done draining. We're going to put the bolt back on. 
the oil drain bolt. But before we do, I wanted to make a mention. I'll try to bring it here to the light. But um, you want to make sure that you replace um, the crush washer that's on it or the o-ring or the piece of rubber whatever style yours is so i'll be putting a new silver little crush washer on here all right i hand threaded the bolt back on i wiped it off with the towel hand threaded the bolt back on get our 19 righty tighty lefty loosey okay now she's tight and i'm gonna give her a nice pull uh, get in a better position here I'm gonna make sure she's tightened to spec. All right, she's nice and tight. Give her a nice little wipe. That's it, we're done down here. Let's go put the oil in. Okay, we got our oil filter in. We got the drain bolt tightened. Now, we wanna put our oil in. And this thing takes right around five quarts anyway. A lot of the four cylinders do. It makes it kinda of easy, because I kinda of just, make sure you check your level, but I kinda of pour the whole thing in, check the level, I usually, it's usually around four and a half, five quarts for the five cylinders, so. Or, sorry, four and a half quarts to five quarts for the four cylinders. I'm mixing up my numbers. All right, let's uh, drop this in and double check. Make sure you got your oil filter, drain bolt in there. Okay. And these wide mouth filters are awesome. I always find pouring it sideways, you get less bubbles, but when you pour it like that, see how it gulps and splashes? So I hold, I hold the gallons sideways. And you can, you can fill her up quick with these big mouth filters, or funnels rather. These big mouth funnels make it easy, quick. And if you pour the jug sideways, you don't get that gulping air splatter. And I'll leave her in there to drain. Do the balancing act. Let it drip the rest, get your money's worth, get it all in there. Okay, good to go. Save the container for the old oil. We can put it in there. Use the same funnel, put the old oil in from the, from the oil catch and recycle it at your local AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Gonna wipe up any mess we had. Reinstall our cap. She's nice and straight. Let her sit for a minute and then we'll check her oil level. Make sure she's on a flat surface. I'm on a little bit of a slant. I've done this many times though. I'm just doing this for video purposes. Make sure she's on a, on a flat surface. Wipe it once. Check your oil level. She's right at the full line. I can see it. Dropped a little bit of oil there. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this down too. Give another wipe. Good to go. Oil change. Mazda 3 Sport 2005, 2004, the 2007, 8, 9, they're all the same. So this is how you do it properly. I hope this video helped you out with your car and or Mazda. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Draco does it.